Irrigation system problems can be perplexing and even downright frustrating, but there is a solution for everything. The most common problem with farm irrigation system have to do with irrigation scheduling. Irrigation scheduling is simply answering the question of when do I do it and how long do I do it. Farmers might face irrigation system problems such as irrigation system turning on during winter season, water pressure issues, overwatering and underwatering, awkward garden designs, water runoff and pooling. Starting an irrigation cycle too early and running an irrigation cycle too long is considered overwatering. At the very least, this practice wastes water and money. However, overwatering can cause crop damage if done on a prolonged basis. Likewise, starting an irrigation cycle too late or not running the system for a long period of time is considered underwatering and can cause reduced yields and poor crop quality, which can affect price. Looking at these problems in depth is key to minimizing their financial and practical impact on crops. And the solution for this is automatic irrigation system. So I'm going to tell you about the tech that we used in our project. First, the Bluetooth module. The name of the Bluetooth module that we used is HC05. It, has, it is an easy to use Bluetooth SPP serial port protocol module designed for transparent wireless serial connection setup. The HC05 module can be used in a master or slave configuration, making it a great solution for wireless communication. As we know, the VCC and ground of the module goes to VCC and ground of Arduino. The TXT pin goes to RXD pin of Arduino and the RXD pin goes to TXD of Arduino that is digital pin 0 and 1. Second one we used is GSM module. GSM is a mobile communication modem. It stands for Global System for Mo Mobile Communication. GSM is an open and digital cellular technology used for transmitting mobile, voice and data services. GSM system was developed as a digital system using time division and multiple access TDMA technique for communication purpose. A GSM digitalizes and reduces the data, then send it down through a channel with two different streams of client data, each in its own particular slot. It requires a SIM card just like mobile phones to activate communication with the network. Also, they have INEI, International Mobile Equipment Identity number similar to mobile phones for their identification. The modem needs 80 commands for interacting with processor or controller, which are communicated through serial communication. Hi guys, now I will demonstrate you about a project, so let's go. Uh, this is our system, this is the GSM module here, this is the breadboard, this is our Arduino and this is the Bluetooth module here and this is the GSM. And uh, I'm powering my GSM module through 12, 12 volt DC adapter. And uh, I'm powering my Arduino through my laptop. And this is the motor which is in water reservoir. And the sensor is in water which means the, hum uh, which means the humidity level is enough. And there is no need to turn on the motor. So <coughs> let's first come to the automatic part. So if you... Uh, take out this sensor which means the humidity level is low currently so the water uh, the motor will start pumping the water so I'm taking it right out and you can see that it has started pumping water now if I again dip it in it will turn off automatically so this was the uh, automatic part now I'll show you how you can connect it with Bluetooth so First, um, turn on the Bluetooth. Uh, it's already on. So I'll simply go to my app, check for the connection. So my Bluetooth device name is HC05. I'll click on it. Oh, it was already connected. So I'll just connect it again. Okay. So I think it's now now it's connected. So now if I touch this power button, it will start my motor. So as you can see, it started pumping water. It will pump for 5 seconds. And the main feature for this is that as soon as it stops pumping water, it will send you the time, date and time. 
so as you can see it's 27 23 37 22 which is same as 11 37 and uh, now we'll show you the gsm part so in gsm it takes some time so you send the message as through registered mobile number which is registered in the gsm the same which is registered in the gsm so okay so if i send a message as to my gsm module it takes little bit time so we will wait it is taking time because it's first gsm will find the signal and then it will decode it and then send to arduino and then to relay so it takes around 30 to 40 seconds but it will turn and you will receive oh, so as you can see the motor got turned on it will it will stay on for 5 seconds and uh, you will receive message water but since the signal is weak here so i'm not getting the message and one more thing you will receive you will again receive the time okay wait it it will show as the signal strength is a little weak but yeah it's working i've tested it before and for the future implementation we can also um, make smart home from our project because uh, so we have the relay board here if we connect four devices it will uh, since it has four relays so we can connect four devices and it will we can operate it through bluetooth and uh, gsm and we obviously need to remove the sensor so that's it thank you for watching